Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome back. It has been a day. Whew. I'm like, I'm excited. The jitters, I'm, I, I can't believe it's the time it is right now. It's, uh, wasn't quite sure how to start this trip off with the video. So I, I literally just got done packing the last, what I hope is the last item of ours for our trip that we're going on tomorrow to Yosemite National Park. I've never been before. I'm very excited. I have so many things planned. This has been a long time coming. And yeah, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm, I can't stop smiling. It's gonna be so much fun. Myself, my girlfriend Jess, and our dog Goku are traveling to Yosemite National Park tomorrow morning. And we're gonna be driving all day. Now, I'm not gonna film it because that would be a very boring part of the video. You're not watching this video to watch me drive. 12 hours somewhere. I'm watching this video because of the place that I'm gonna embark on and the beauty that I'm gonna see and I'm gonna try to share that with you as best as I can. So thank you for coming back to the channel. If you can, please give this video a like. If you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm not quite sure how many videos I'm gonna be doing in Yosemite, but I know I'm gonna film enough to do probably 10. I'm just kidding, that's gonna be way too many, but I'm gonna do a few. <sighs> I've been packing and getting ready for everything all day, and the time has just slipped away from me. It's it's 10, it's like 10 o'clock at night. We're waking up at four, packing the rest of the things that didn't get packed that we need to push into the car, jumping in, driving out. <laughs> I am so tired. It's gonna be rough. But that's the sediment for this whole trip. That is that is what it's gonna be like the entire time. It's gonna be a lot of early mornings and it's gonna be a lot of late nights and, and all nighters, to be completely honest. I wasn't sure how to start my first video in Yosemite, so I just wanted to come in here and just let it all out and just wanna say thank you and stay tuned because I have a feeling this is gonna be really, really good. Thanks guys. Apologies for this video not going the way I wanted it to go from the very beginning, but here we are. Uh, yesterday during the trip, we um, like literally like five miles from our campsite, I saw my tire pressure sensor came on and went out and checked my tire and couldn't find out I ran over a nail somewhere. So not ideal on the very first day of the trip. So as we roll back to the campsite, pulled out all my spare stuff, changed it. First time I've had to change it in this car, which is pretty good honestly, but uh, very thankful that it happened very close to our campsite. So when I put the spare on, I figure, you know, like I've driven pretty far with the spare before and it's only what, like 15 miles to Yosemite Valley. So you might as well just drive down here for 
the sunrise shot, which we did, but after we got here, I had another light come on that said my all-wheel drive lock was on. And come to find out, once we got down here, we had service, there's service down here, there's service nowhere on this entire drive except for in the valley, which is strange. It's kind of, it's cool, but like- It's weird not having service at our campsite, which is a pretty, kind of populated area, but whatever. I looked it up and Nissan Rogues have a situation where if your spare tire is on one of the front tires, if you go over 35 miles an hour, your all wheel drive is gonna lock and it's gonna overheat your differential. So that's what was happening. So <laughs> when I got here, I had to deal with that, trying to figure it out. Inevitably did not feel like filming much because I just wasn't super in the mood. I just wanted to just capture the moment here and just that's kind of what I wanted to do. So that's all I did this morning was just take photos. I mean, it was beautiful. God, it was beautiful. Man, it was it was awesome. I mean, it is just a bluebird sky. I am bummed that that's, that's pretty much gonna be the entire time I'm here is gonna be a bluebird sky. But I will take that over overcast rain any day. So light show is sick. El Capitan lit up on the side. I had this glow. I got some really good photos. I'm very stoked on them. I'm sorry I didn't film me getting them. I'll, show some after this little rant man it was cool and now i decided to end my day back at tunnel view i definitely did not gauge the sunset the way I, it's hard to tell because the horizon's different where you go in different places so i have photo pills but i didn't get over here in time to check it in time so i'm a little early i don't know if i'm gonna stay for sunset but oh my god Ugh, sorry about that. I didn't want to leave my bag on the ledge from that last b-roll shot. So it's just we are on a ledge right here. Uh, very sick spot though. If you come to Tunnel View, it's very crowded, as, as expected, and rightfully so. I mean, very easy accessible viewpoint of the entire valley. When you pull in to Tunnel View, I mean, right behind it, there's these rocks, and it, it looks extremely well foot trafficked area. So I, I assume that we're allowed to come up here. No sign saying that we can't. So I came up here found this sweet view and decided to film this part of the video here. So this morning, kind of a disaster, but I mean, I'm thankful that we got to come here very first morning because that is what I was gonna make today's video about was catching the sunrise, my very first sunrise at Yosemite, but that did not go as planned. Here I am though, had a great day, spent all day traveling around with Goku, Jess, checking out trails, just getting my steps in, scoping out different vantage points and different things that I want to shoot later on this week. I was able to scope out some Milky Way stuff too since I have service here. I was able to use photo pills and actually kind of correlate where the Milky Way is going to be down in the valley. So I was very happy about that. Going on the story though, I mean, after here, drove super slow all the way back to our campsite, took a very much needed nap. Man, that nap was awesome. Woke up, went down to Mariposa, which is like 35 miles away or something like that. Drove. 25 30 miles that whole way so it took about an hour to get there this whole town was super cool everybody was super willing to help first tire shop we went to is booked up pointed me to like three others and said dude they'll help you out and i was like oh i came up to the one they said they were booked and i was like oh it's okay and they asked me about the tire and i was like oh it's in the back and they said oh well we'll just do it real quick so they just passed it right there i was like wow you guys thank you so much so because of that we were able to spend the rest of the day in the valley versus in mariposa waiting for my tire to get fixed. I was gonna make the whole video at sunrise, tunnel view, capturing this awesome, awesome view, my first time capturing it, but obviously that didn't go to plan and this is not gonna be the end of the video now. So now I'm just gonna do a continuation on to my second, third day, I'm not really sure. First day in Yosemite was a success, despite all the setbacks, it was, it was, it was a good day. I did find a new spot to shoot sunrise here though because I think it's a way better vantage point and it is away from all the people because they're all down there in that parking lot. Anyways. Day one, success. <laughs> God, it's cold. Decided to come down and do a sunrise shoot down here in the open valley. Yeah, so I am so tired. I, don't, I got it this morning and I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I almost didn't come here. I was so tired. I'm glad I did because it's gonna be a good one. But just out here, just rolling around, just trying to find something. And I don't wanna be at Tunnel View two mornings in a row. So I just, I decided to come down here and try something new. I really, really wanna get, try to get El Capitan lit up with the sunrise because seeing it from tunnel view yesterday and how lit up it got it was awesome so really hoping i catch it this morning really hoping i get some light rays don't really know what i'm going for don't really know if i'm gonna go big wide open angled shot don't know if i'm gonna get a fat zoomed in close-up shot with big lens I, I don't know so i'm just gonna wander around and see what we can find it is cold <laughs>
So I found myself going completely off track. Uh, well, walking to this woodland area, and, and I'm next to this river. I think, I'm pretty sure it's the Yosemite River, and I find a lot of foreground interest, and I want to get uh, it's water, and I'm a sucker for water shots, so I kind of I don't want to abandon the El Capitan shot because I'm over here, but I can't really find a composition I, I like. So I might throw the fat lens on, walk out there, because the sun's about to come up in like 20 minutes. I might just get some close-up shots of it just glowing and on fire because it's got such a cool color when the sun first hits it in the morning and when the sun hits it last at night. So I think I'm gonna come back to this area. Get a nice fat shot of El Capitan. Yeah, I like it. It's cool, it's cool here. It's very peaceful. Man, I wish I had some coffee, man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing, to be honest. So I'm just gonna kinda trudge on, I guess. So I think I found my first composition and it's, not anything super spectacular, but it, I mean, I'm having trouble trying to find anything out here. It's not like spectacular. It, I think it's gonna make a nice image. As far as like interest goes, I wish I just found something more interesting. And I'm gonna do a, a little bit more exploring today to find something more interesting for later day sunrise shoots. So I found this log and it's got this glow to it. I don't know what it is. Like I, I'm colorblind, so I don't know if I see things differently than other people, but when I see something that really catches my eye, I'm like, Okay, this is cool. So this log has this weird glow to it, I feel. So I figured foreground, lower third with the log, L cap in the background, portrait shot. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna turn out good. I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be okay. I kind of played around with it a little bit before I started filming this and I think I found a shot that I think it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up. Sun's gonna come out in 10, 15 minutes. So set up and wait. We really wish I had some coffee <laughs> right now, let's do it enjoy this moment god i did actually i did find another composition i liked over there but literally when i came across it, it was like this little tree that coming out of the ground and it had this like s curve to it. it looked really cool but right next to it there's somebody sleeping i didn't know he's supposed to be sleeping out here but some some dude was just sleeping in his sleeping bag it's freezing and whatever i guess but i had to move on from that one because i didn't want to just be filming this and recording while some dude's sleeping there and i'm setting up to take a shot so selling for this one I'm gonna go back to that river and find something later do this. My hands are so cold. Oh my god, they're so cold. They're cracking, they're so cold. Oh, I'm gonna do a focus stack bracket. So, I'm gonna take a shot, one stop, um, probably half a stop overexposed and probably a full stop under underexposed. There really is no mid ground interest, so, and I'm shooting at f11, so I don't have to really, there really is no super big difference in depth of field so i'm just going to do foreground interest focus stack and then focus on l cap in the background and call good i probably don't even need to focus stack it to be honest but we're gonna do it sun is just coming out and it's just kissing the top of it such a cool rock like <laughs> what is up with rocks dude just such a cool rock wow might bust out the fat lens too just to get some more of it because man it looks sick wow take a couple more Looks good. Looks really good. Wow. So I ended up going back to the woodland area with the river, but honestly, I just couldn't find anything. And I was walking around, I walked, I walked around for like an hour and I just, I was over it. So I'm probably just gonna come back at a later time when I'm not this tired and I'm more clear-minded. I can actually focus on what I'm trying to search for. So in the next few days, that's my goal is to try to find different compositions in different areas for sunrise, sunset, or just things that make great photos. Now with that said, I'm going to end this first video here. It has been a cool couple first days here in Yosemite. This place is massive, lots to explore, lots to go see, lots of research on my end to do while I'm here to optimize the shots that I wanna get. I'm excited, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a good trip. I don't know how many videos I'm gonna do with me here. I'm definitely gonna do a couple. One definitely of one of the star missions I'm gonna do for Milky Way, because that's gonna suck. So, we'll see how that goes. But yes, this, is, uh, this has been awesome. Thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. I'm a brand new channel and it definitely pumps up 
me and the algorithm, so just give it a thumbs up if you could. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I try to put a video out every single week. I try to film myself going on location and sharing my experiences and landscape photography from my point of view. I try to travel as much as I can to different areas I haven't been before, but I try to optimize every area that I go to. So always trying to bring something new to the table. This is gonna be it for video one in Yosemite. I'm excited to see what this place brings. I'm super tired. I'm gonna head back to camp and I'm gonna probably take a nap for a very long time. I'm gonna wake up, make some coffee, make some breakfast. Oh God, I'm tired. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.